What's going on, everybody? We're back at it today with Motivation Monday. I want to encourage everybody today to do something different. Different for your physical and mental health. Your mental health is very important. If your head's not in the game, what's the point of doing anything? If your physical health is not in the game, what's the point? Both of these are very important. One is not better than the other. They're both equal in my book. As men, we forget to check in. We forget to check our health. We forget to check our mental health. Forget to take a mental day. You know, even screw that. Forget it. Just take a, a physical day. Just you, You're burned out going in and out. Keep going day in and day out over and over and over. But we don't get checked out. That's the problem. We think we're too good for that sometimes. So, that bothers me. Because I saw my father, all his life work, like a dog. I mean, that guy worked. That's where I got my working habits from. He was that damn fucking good. Don't get me wrong, he had his downfalls. My father had a lot of downfalls. But one thing he is big example was he never checked his health. When he did check it, it was getting too late sometimes. He didn't have great practices, I'll be honest with you guys. Like, I remember him drinking like four or five uh, Diet Pepsi or Diet Coke, that was his favorite drink. Or have a cup of coffee through the day. And, like, he was a taxi driver, so he didn't have time to stop and get physical. Or stop and go to the gym. Or stop and take a walk. Or stop just to get a real meal. Half the times, excuse me, half the times he was eating McDonald's. The other half the times he was eating pizza. Sometimes he would just eat something cheap because he's always on the go. And he didn't want to spend that money. But that's not an excuse. Fast forward a few years later when he unfortunately got ran over by a car in New York City. Yes, I said ran over by a car. His health is still going downhill. Not all of it. Like, his heart's fine. His blood pressure's fine. His sugar's fine. But his, his legs are not the same anymore. After the car ran him over, he had uh, knee, um, knee surgery. Yes, knee surgery. And he had uh, surgery on his um, shins. He's never been the same. His legs give out to him all the time. Only if he listened. To go take care of himself. He might be in a better shape now. Only if he took care of himself. Like to eat what he just eat. Or maybe park the car for like 30 minutes. Take a walk. But he only care about making that money. Going in and out. Making sure he got paid. Because he was self-employed. Taking a vacation sometimes. I remember my father for 30 years working. He never, 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 never took a vacation once. Once in 30 years, I remember him taking one. That's, that's not good enough. We have to remember to take some time off for ourselves. I never ever seen them, my mom and him spend time because he was always working. So what is the point of doing everything if you're not taking care of yourself? We're in November. This is Men's Health Month. Let's get checked out. Let's go to the doctor. Let's do things. I use my mother. I know it, she's a woman, but it still matters here because my mother is fighting colon cancer at stage 3. And I have said this before. The chance of me getting colon cancer is very high. The doctor already told me this. It's very high. It runs from mother to son or mother to daughter. It runs from the mother's side of the family. So my chances are pretty high. My mother's side of the family, or two, she had two twin uncle, uh, two brothers, my two uncles. My one uncle died from lung cancer because he didn't want to get checked out. My other uncle died from a heart attack. Again, he didn't want to check out. That old school mentality again. Why would I get checked out? Don't need to get checked out. I'm fine. I'm okay. 
Are you really? If you're okay, you'll be with us still. I know God took you when he wanted to, and that's fine. Hopefully you're resting in peace. But if you checked out, you could have been here a few more years. You could have seen my cousin's kid, his grandkid. You could have done a lot more there. I'm not saying he was a bad person. I'm not saying any of that. I'm saying he should have got checked out. My cousin should have made him get checked out. My cousin's not any better. He's the same way. Hard-headed. That side of the family is very hard-headed. Makes you think. I know Dan C's doing a bunch of health stuff this uh, month. So I like to share those links. Check them out. Um, I know he's doing a lot of where to get your health checked out and everything. There are a bunch of free stuff out there. I'm not sure about the state of PA or New York and other states, but if you check out those links, I think they're gonna probably links to your state. Again, I'm not sure, but definitely check it out. I know he's doing a lot of charity stuff through his, him and his wife. Um, with the shop he has, he's gonna donate some funds to men's health. Check it out. You guys don't understand how health, your health is everything. Like for example, let's talk about beers for a minute. I don't talk about beers, I don't want to talk about hair, I don't want to talk about something else. Beards. If your hormones are not in check, you're not going to be able to grow a beard. If that's really what you want, you should get checked out. And they say you want to grow your hair out, like mine, or even longer. If your hormones are not correct, you're not going to be able to. If you want to be a man and have kids, and your hormones are all screwed up, you're not going to be able to. I know I'm sounding like I'm repeating myself today, and I am for a reason. I want to get through your head, guys. Go get checked out. Go get fucking checked the fuck out. I'm not joking. I'm serious. This is very important for everybody, for me, to you, to anybody. If you don't get checked out, what is the point? Why are we doing this? You want to give up now? Because I'm not giving up. I have never given up. But definitely get checked out. This video is all about getting checked out. It's, I cannot keep here and keep moving you guys and keep telling you to do this and doing that. If you're not around, you're not getting checked out. What's the point of me telling you everything if you don't get checked out? That's all I'm asking you, go check it out. Go see at least one doctor appointment, get a physical. Most insurance will cover one for physical. And you go from there. Don't worry about it, Bill. That shit comes. Nah, don't worry about it. I know you get stressing out about the money, but don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. So, make sure you get checked out. Check those links out. Except that, guys. Stay fresh.